You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menunos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Grey's Anatomy After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Grey's Anatomy After Show. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Stop it. I can't believe he uh, plays that. That is amazing. Adele, Nazim. Oh, my gosh. Well, we got to tune everybody in to why this is being played, Jason. Because if I they hear... Let go of that virus. If I hear it one more time, this effing Disney song, I'm going to lose it. It's everywhere. I'm at the bathroom at McDonald's letting go. I'm at Payless trying on shoes. Let, Let it, go. it go. It's just like <laughs> those uh, shoes are gonna hurt your feet forever. And, and after buzzers, <laughs> I have to say, Frozen was very serious. I needed like every antidepressant oh. after that movie. And after this episode, I really and I love it. how the the prince that that deceived her was actually gay. Oh. <laughs> how you know? <laughs> he, 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 he was like, "How you doing?" <laughs> hey, you guys, welcome I think to the. You need to play that randomly throughout the show tonight. <laughs> Love that movie. Uh, can we get like a, a Pharrell remix or something? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm happy. No. No. <laughs> All right, we've lost half our viewers. Here right, we go. We're here for Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> hey, you guys, welcome to the Grey's Anatomy After Show here on After Buzz TV. Woo! Hello, Jason Carter here. Hi, ladies. How are you? How I'm your real star session. I'm Kelly. And Kelly's Kelly. back. Yeah. I feel like Kelly's like um our our, our special guest. Like she's like our. our, our, our yeah, where the I know. Where have you been? Sorry. Mm, Kelly has a back. life. I'm sorry. But we miss you, Kelly. And Julie, miss we miss you too. Everyone's been like, where's Julie been? Well, well she's trying to birth a new <laughs> life onto this planet. Honestly, literally. she might be having the baby tonight. About damn so, time. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah, Congrats. pray um, that everything goes safe. Good luck to you, Julie. We love you and we miss you. Come and have you back. We love you. Uh, Grey's Anatomy, season 10. Okay, mm. look, I'm going to start off the show by saying I'm sick of ABC duping us with this, like, next week on Grey, someone dies <laughs> <laughs> from a from a, a virus that Ebola that they can't cure. <laughs> and really, it's like a cold. Well, it was a cold that was kind of, like, horrendous. It was like that movie Contagion. Like, I'm yes. totally down for the hand sanitizers at all times. You know what? Hand sanitizer, believe it or not, it does, just it, spreads it, it around, around, right? Yeah, just I go wash your hands and then moisturize afterwards. Ooh. You can use the antibacterial moisturizing um, lotion. Bath & Body Works had one. They discontinued it. Therefore, I'm no longer shopping there. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. You absolutely love that place. <laughs> anyway, moving on. So, yeah, tonight's episode was called You... Um, you be illin. 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 You be They're illin. taking this '80s thing a bit too far tonight, and I'm gonna say on the '80s music. Thank you to everyone who's tweeted me about my '80s inquiry last week because I didn't hear '80s any '80s music, but however there was. But mm. that they, oh, they they always know. Yeah, out there. they know. Our fans. They're in the know. They're hashtag stalkers. Um, <laughs> but that cover of How Will I Know? How will I know? I, I have Kelly, a feeling. Hold on, start. Hold on, mm-hmm. Kelly. What was it? Terrible. If Kelly mm. says it's terrible, it was terrible. I agree, it was terrible. I. You can't do just some song. You only if you're gonna. Re, you cannot remake everything. No, you, of course you can't. But I'm sure from the beginning it built. It you know had a build, and you were feeling it. And it sounded like it could have been Ray Montague. I'm not sure, but if it was, and you know, it's, he usually has really <sighs> sentimental songs. Yeah. The part that they showed on the show was a little awkward because right. it kind of came out of nowhere. And you're right. like, that's Whitney Houston's song. It could. Yeah, I get. Yes, they I could, agree. It could have been really. It could have been like, ooh, this yeah. is the jam. But it, but it started to irritate me, and no. that's when I really right. started to. Look Listen to it, and I was like, "What the, the hell is, is this?" That? Yeah, they could have had anyone. They had little Camry do it. Someone else besides whoever did it, but How they did have. I know. Hey, Star wait. could have redone it. Yeah. Yep. No. 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 <laughs> he said yes. He said yes. <laughs> they also had "Burning Up" by Madonna in the beginning, which is really called cool. a huge Madonna's '80s I fan. I actually liked that one. Yeah, that was great. So let's yeah. say what's up to our Twitter followers tonight. Um, Sanja Bumbar, everyone that's been. Gosh, they've been on it tonight. Sanja Bumbar, Sanja Bumbar, Alicia H. Hi. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh, who you, else? Who else? You caught on? me off guard. You caught me off guard. I know. We weren't prepared because we love you all so, 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 so much. Um, We got Call Me T. Shan Burrow. Therapist. Shan Burrow. And um, we also have, um, sorry guys, it's been a long day. Yeah. Okay. We well, you know who you is. We love you. 
We'll, we'll get to, we'll, we'll catch we'll catch you on the next one. I <laughs> want to know what everybody thought was so funny. Well, we they were tweeting. Tweets, yeah, it's it a such funny an episode. Hilarious episode. No. And there were some funny parts, but it wasn't I, like com- it wasn't comical. And did anyone notice or see that that shocking um, life threatening scene with Meredith wearing heels and scrubs? <laughs> <laughs> Who allowed That's why that? She was walking. <laughs> Let it go. Exactly. Let it go. Because I was excited that she was even in heels. Okay. Yes. She's older. She's more sophisticated. They she were like grandma yeah. orthopedic heels. Okay. But that's fine. Are those nurse heels that yeah. have like the, like the, the it platform? Like, it was like a little. I she thought it was like a clog at first. It up a little bit. Yes. However, there are fashion faux pas you just do not commit. And that was a major one. Scrubs and heels? I'm totally Horrible. down. Oh, oh, unless. <laughs> if it was like Halloween, you definitely put the well, heels on. Well, you could roll them up into up, a right? nice capri, you know? Ooh. With some Louis Vuitton. Yeah, you know, make it, you know. Tyler Sherman. Add some accessories. Make it real, real sexy, like. Oh my god! <laughs> Could you imagine? I'm, She's like, she I don't got like this. Okay, <laughs> um, let's get into the episode, though. So yeah, we, let's get serious. Um, I know. Well, there, there so was, it starts off very, very intense with that song. Um, <laughs> yes. Who got the cold first? What's her name? Um, Leah. Leg. No Le- leg. Missing leg lady. Oh my gosh. Arizona. Arizona. <laughs> Oh, right. She got, sorry, so, we're like, missing leg lady. I could find it. This is a, her superpower where she can, t- she has a little kid that coughs all over her. Nice and it turned me into a germaphobe for the night. Well, like, and really bad. It looked like one of those um, Lysol commercials where germs are everywhere. Yeah. Achoo, mommy, I'm sick. Yeah. <laughs> it was really, really gross. And you just like watch the germs being spread throughout the and first. Then she wipes, but I loved- yeah. Then she wipes it. She lets it marinate on her face. Well, I love the like effect of like the, the white light or what, how, I don't even know how they did that I'd be, I'm really curious to see I mean, how they did Disney that Disney has a lot of mm-hmm. money they can do a lot of they things they can do a lot yeah. of things but I loved how you were following the germ throughout the whole like mm-hmm. beginning of the first scene right. like, that was pretty Pass cool to everyone mm-hmm. yeah. to the elevator buttons like I'm not feeling those buttons sometimes no. I'm no, like hitting it with the elbow no I do the I do the foot on the, the crosswalk buttons mm-hmm. because Ooh. those are nasty those are outside with the elements and you know True. Especially the ones in West Hollywood, those are real skank. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But so here's the thing about that whole. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing about that. She doesn't walk. She's like, mm. <laughs> she's like I drive. I do have to walk from the parking structure to my office, so I have to touch one of those. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Or at the mall. <laughs> I um, have to cross one street. <laughs> here's the thing about tonight's episode, though. There wasn't really anything that really stood out besides just the sickness and also the patient, which we do see later on. That's becoming another arc where this the kid returns for another episode. You know the. Um, the biracial kid, which kudos to you again, Shonda. For uh, every time they cast couples, they're always biracial. I love it. I think it's wonderful. It I think it's so great. Cute. So cute. Oh my cute. gosh, that curly hair! Like I love Adorable. it. I can't Long wait to hair, have my biracial hair. kids. I'm so excited. Uh, but he's like a little bubble boy. Right, and he has and he had skids. Well, first of all, he thought it was a pimple that he kept touching. He had skids mm-hmm. for sure, and he just kept touching it and touching it. And what is skids, Star? Um, I don't know. Wikipedia, guys. I'm sure they'll tell us. Yeah, because I was like, I thought skids were, you know. Skids. It's basically when you just get really, you your body can't fight off immune systems. Um, right. Immune, what am I trying to say? Your body can't, can't fight, fight off, off infections. Virus, infections. <laughs> Every little thing gets you really, really sick and could potentially kill you. And your immune system is down, is what mm-hmm. I was trying to say. So yes. they've been feeding it with enzymes. It's been helping to him to be able to actually be in society, but now his body has developed antibodies. It's fighting off the enzymes. Exactly. So he's gotten really sick. Mm-hmm. And his pimple turned into... Uh, Jason, get your phone away infection. from the mic. Well, he called, he definitely called, <laughs> they called the hospital and basically um, they should have never sent him to the emergency room. Like that's the worst place you can send someone who has skids. Right. Um, so that's where, you know, uh, Kepner just kept questioning, like when they sent you here, you know, and everyone's coughing around. I mean, that's honestly why I don't like going to the emergency room because mm-hmm. every time someone coughs, I'm like, get me out of here. Like, I'd just rather figure it out myself. Well, um, before we go on, we've got a, some breaking news from our favorite Twitter follower, Talibatar, for um, some news and gossip later. You will not believe what she just tweeted me. Ooh, follow us on Twitter. Yeah, We're so going to retweet also right now. Say what's up to Kyle White. We forgot we can't leave out Kyle White because he's mm-hmm. always there. Every, um, all, she's always there, sorry, every every week with us. Um, so, yeah, so the whole the whole sickness thing was was... They've done that before, believe it or not. They've done that in four in three seasons already, where mm-hmm. it was with George, and he was in there with um, Derek as well one time, and they had to quarantine the whole thing. It's just they've done that before, so that wasn't anything new for Grey's. It was, it was very recycled. It was very, you know, we're going to call that eco-friendly. Eco-friendly. Because, <laughs> because they recycle. It was very eco-friendly at that hospital. <laughs> Um, but we also do, we also do, we also see Karev going through, going through some financial, financial. issues, which I want to know. 
how much do those doctors make? Because I, many seasons they've been saying, oh, you're $4 million a year hand or two. Is that like insurance money? Is that what the hospital's paying Derek to to have that bad hair well, he had this you week? you got to remember, though, Derek is one of the best neurosurgeons in the country, the world, whatever they want to call him. So he actually does have probably each hand is probably worth $4 million. He, but, so wow. he, he commands that kind of paycheck? Because yes. Addison also made... Oh, Addison. Um, she also made <laughs> a lot of money. Darling. But d- mm-hmm. but we see Kareb not paying off his student loans. No, I don't think it's that he can't. He just wasn't doing it. Yeah, I think he's, he, he's so, like, whatever about life in general. I don't think he's worried about his bills. Um, at first, I was like, is he not cashing his paychecks and then you guys were like no it's actually his school loans well and they're deferred right now because of his fellowship but right. the deferment's about to end so you know joe wants to get him on track mm-hmm. so when you interest I, I, i've never had mm-hmm. student loans before so like they come after you huh yeah they, they do it's just like any bill they don't pay them they'd be yeah, like yeah, garnishing they, your paycheck and stuff they only defer them if you go back to school gotcha gotcha and joe are responsible who would have thunk it well yeah. she's all up in his junk like she needs to really back it up she if needs you to ask fall me. back have just a saying. seat joe have a seat <laughs> she's like like we're, she's like over yeah she's annoying she's a little whiny mm, like well, very, we've already discussed very that. whiny well like a needy whiny she's she's no whiny that's needy and whiny together well she's like his mom in the yeah. end like she's like taking care of him which is great that's it's, not sexual it's it's just like you're yeah. annoying more than anything. But you can't be like the mom and then be whiny at the same time. That's just too you have to bad either be the mom and stern, you know, but not. Well, well it's good to be on I it. Think she's trying, and I think she's trying to. She's just kind of failing right now because she's young. There was no Christina or Owen um, chemistry yeah. this this week. It was very. Well, no, real... the... Oh no, go ahead. Sorry, we're we're so excited. <laughs> Um, no, that moment when they were um, trying to figure out what was going on with the heart, um, when they were walking down the hall, they just had a really good work relationship this episode. Right, it wasn't that's really, what I'm saying. It wasn't love. And, it, it wasn't, wasn't love, and I am glad. Yeah, yeah, it was very like, you know, hey, girl, go give him a, you know, go give exactly. him a, a catheter or have fun, you know? Mm-hmm. And then we also see the, the this breakout star apparently on Twitter was Mr. Labakis, the and that doctor. that was the one with the techno shot? Um, no, the the butt doctor. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, Mr. Dr. Butt. Who, what what um, is his name? Do, uh, Dr. Dr. Butthole. 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 Mm-hmm. Who was actually mighty easy on the eyes. Mm-hmm. And we, from what we're going <laughs> to reveal later on, is we see... <laughs> Well, I mean, he was. No, we're with you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why we're laughing. Look, I'm just keeping it real. We, you, we all watched the same show. He was cute. <laughs> um, not my type, but he was cute. Um, it was about us, and he made it about him. <laughs> okay. That means that it's about Jason. <laughs> that is not true. That's, all. That's why we love him. It's about our audience. <laughs> but, um, you know, we, we're going to reveal later that something that happens tonight is also the beginning of something else for another character. Mm-hmm. And we see, you know, we, we see Karev being in this new light, you know, taking it out of the hospital, playing golf with him after the butt doctors, you know, does one patient, one patient that day. Is going to have a spinoff show? Who what, knows? Couldn't you see that? Well, who, why would... Why not? Why I, would not? Not, I would not want a Karev spinoff show because then Joe would be on that spinoff show. <laughs> <laughs> I really wouldn't want be, a Karev spinoff be, show. I'm yeah, just saying, no. like, I could see something building from they there. They should bring Izzy back if that's the case. Oh, no. my gosh. So with that said, I would take the deal and move on. But I feel like he had to buy into so, yeah. this practice. Two hundred fifty thousand. And in. does he have this laying around? And why does it sound like a like a like a well, scam? If he's not paying his bills and he's really not paying rent. What? what he's spending his money on? Yeah, that's true. I mean, but it just all sounded like a scam. And the way it was like sold to him was definitely an infomercial, right? It kind right. of sounded it was that like, way. Yeah. Well, the doctor's commentary in monologues. A dialogue, I'm sorry, it was very infomercial. It was too good. It was like, and you, too, can also do this kind of surgery. I think that's what they were kind of going for. In the and end, in though. the hospital, I mean, in the operating room, we play all kinds of fabulous music. <laughs> I was like, dude, shut up. The but, 80s was a great time. And yeah, we loved the jam. Yeah, Here we go, team. I, oh, oh, yeah. I did ballies like, every day. <laughs> when he's doing one surgery a day or a week or whatever he's doing, I think that's You're that, feeling that's fresh. showing. Yeah, yeah. He's like Contrast. spring chicken. But, you know, it's really funny. People always ask, do they really play music in... Uh, they for sure do. Um, please do not dance over my body yeah, when it's they, like open on the table. Like, please. No. My mom works in surgery and they, Madonna Frozen with this one surgery, surgeon is the Let old. it go. <laughs> let it go. That was your cue, Steven. <laughs> okay, sorry. Go back. Sorry, could you just let it go? <laughs> good one. So yeah, they uh, play music. I would be distraught. <laughs> Look, go on a good Janet Jackson song, I might kill somebody. <laughs> You might come alive to the anesthesia. (laughs) My bad. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. All right, let's go to the patients. Okay, so we have... um, 
we have the mom and the daughter who had multiple sclerosis. She didn't have multiple sclerosis, but she had... Um, <laughs> what she have? You wrote it down. She had ca- cardiomyopathy. Mm, yes, you're on it. Cardiomyopathy. And her, the mom... The mom... <laughs> there was... <laughs> what, Kelly? <laughs> this is like a little bit of a crack-up show. Excuse us. Well, because it, there was there nothing funny about it. So multiple sclerosis. I don't know. Because it was cardiomyopathy, multiple <laughs> sclerosis. Sorry. It's all the same thing. Okay, um, it's not, though. I'm just joking. But um, we, we see... There was one really weird scene where she's on the phone having a moment. Did you guys feel yeah, the moment? Yeah, that was the moment I was like, why is she crying? Because I was like, I don't get it. Like, Let it go. Her daughter just went into surgery for a heart transplant. That's a big deal. She no. was there by herself. It's emotional. It's scary. She could die. I know. She was having a moment with her husband. She got another kid. No, I home. understand. <laughs> Let it go. Because you're, you're making it a stretch. And when it comes down to, to it, it the, the scene was awkward and not negative. It was very awkward. I you think, guys are just insensitive. I'm no, not. no, no. I think I, well, let's let's really touch base on what's what's going on here. I think it was just the acting, right? right. It, was, it was just yes. like the acting and maybe the direction like, of that scene. Beep, 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 because beep, beep, what beep, happened was hello. definitely no one's listening to me. <laughs> I don't like it anymore. <laughs> well, I think the angle too of the shot. It was the overhead. Ang- she was in this room by herself. It was it was an awkward scene. I will give you right. that. Yeah, right. but I understand the emotion that was. Supposed and so do to be we. There. We understand what mm-hmm. should have been there, but it wasn't. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> but we find out that the siblings are also. Also suffering from the same affliction which yes that was very weird they've done that before again on Grey's however but today like okay fast forward to the episode where you know where Owen and Christine are saying you know everything's gonna be okay we see the son now spitting up uh, at the mouth yeah he's like, like I'm not sick yeah mouth, right? it was yeah. Very weird. Like, weird and he was all over his face he's like I'm not sick like, okay oh poor kid <laughs> you're totally yeah. there's gotta sick. be something going on in that house in right. the house something that they're exposed to mold but I hope they continue on with this story you know like we're wrapping this story up but like I hope I hope it continues on and hopefully we get to go in their house I don't know why we would but I'm well, interested right? I think it would be I would think it would be yeah. amazing to see that because season six the shooter Oh, where don't he talk was, about it. It well, gives me bad dreams. I know, but it was very, it was very well written. How they brought him back and shocked you, and you were like, when you, the, right. the episode was called Sanctuary, and when you saw him walk, you were like, I've seen him before. And then stop they, it. They, they oh, t- I just have a bad dream right now. I would love for them to somehow find a way to have that type of dynamic and that type of compelling writing and compelling, compelling storytelling. I don't like it because that would be amazing. But we do see that the, that that little um, biracial kid. What was his name? Hayden. Baden. Baden. Bra- Brand. Brayden. Brayden. <laughs> we gave him so many names. Michael. <laughs> Brayden. Let it go. <laughs> Adele Nazim. Oh my God. We John Travolta the fight game. <laughs> okay, what I are we even talking about here? So Brayden. We see that he comes back next week and, you know, it, it goes on. But I hope that the next episode is really intense though. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know that this kid is coming back, and I hope it doesn't overtake the whole episode because I do want to know what happens with these girls. One of them's got a pacemaker. Right. The transplant's going well, so we'll see. But, now but Brayden, Brayden's gonna escape in this next episode. It's gonna be like, Whoa. what if he messes with the Yang's test subjects? Ooh. Oh wait, are they out already? Was today the last the day for those kids? I don't know. <laughs> that, 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 there's a lot going on there's in this a, episode. There's a lot going on these last couple of, of episodes, period. And it's they're really not hard kind to of, follow. Yeah, and they're not, like, uh, intertwining. They're it's not, like, you know? Leah's sick. She looks like she's, you know, staying in it, staying in it, going for the long haul. Mm-hmm. And she should have sick. But I, I do, talking about Derek, though, I know after Buzzers, you will agree 100%. Wasn't it amazing and refreshing to see Meredith come in and handle business on behalf of her husband? She is ride or die. Derek was rehearsing the speech for this panel about whatever he's doing, because it's always something amazing. And then he's referring to his son. Mm-hmm. He gets sick, and Meredith's like, oh, you can't do this. But we find out that Meredith went, and, went in and did the, did the presentation in her own words. And I'm sure they made... I'm thinking that's what sold it. Absolutely, because yeah. she's awesome like that. That's yeah. one thing I really do like about her character. Right. And I know somebody had tweeted, I have to go back and look if they didn't like a lot of the Mayor Dare bickering in this episode tonight. Yeah. But that's one thing I do like about them, because they do it in such a teasing way, even though they really strongly feel however they feel on both sides. It's not very malicious. It's not really too negative. Well, and at the end of the day, she, she does care about him, and she did look out for him when he was down. And exactly. I mean, the show is... A- about Meredith Grey. So I like Mm -hmm. when they have those moments. That's why I fell in love with the show. But I just feel like he's he's charming at times, but he's definitely very, like, 
to the facts kind of boring. Right. So his speech would have probably flopped in the end. Well, I like when she said, stop boring my son. Yeah, right. exactly. And so, so Meredith is very charming, in, in my opinion. I think, mm -hmm. you know, I think that was great what she did, and she Sorry. stepped up. I think it's awesome how you, what you just said that this show is about Meredith Grey and how over the course of ten seasons how that's evolved to not just be about her anymore. I mm -hmm. do think that Meredith was the most interesting when the story was centered around her life and when her. She didn't have kids. Her and... legacy, because every time I watch now, they're now they're now surgeons, and when <laughs> when yes, I'm sorry. Go ahead. When they were not surgeons. They seemed more interesting to me because they sort of were growing, and there's a lot. There was a lot more evolution to happen. Mm -hmm. However, I do agree with you that I do, with, um, Kelly, that I do like their dynamic. Mm -hmm. But I would love for some more Meredith drama. She's too happy for me these days. Yeah. It's too like, ugh. Because again, the show was called Grey's Anatomy, and her backstory was so compelling and so but well I'm written. But so, I'm happy about it though because I'm tired of seeing her almost die or so depressed that she wants to die and drowning and somebody getting shot and her mother well, being. Well, doesn't mean have to go down that like, path, but she needs all of something. That. But she every needs season, it was so over the yeah, top. Yeah, you're that, right. You know well, what I mean? It was so getting it's old. Kinda, it's kind of nice to have a little bit of a break and see her settling True. into somewhat of a normal life for her own kids' sake. But I mean, I, I that can't last too long. It right. once once once. Yang is gone, I'm sure, to get back to drama. And, you know, we didn't have the interns to, drama for to, your mama. to balance <laughs> and to buffer the main characters, right. you know? So, it's, it's, I don't know, I just feel, and a lot of people online and in the blogs said that Grades is, we watch Grades because it may be habitual. And mm -hmm. from, for me, I would watch Grades because I had a, a hunger and an appetite for emotion and to feel something. And I don't really see that there anymore. I think it's more of just like this. Habitual. Is, yeah, this show's been on for so long. Yeah. And I'm, Why course, give up now? Yeah, and after Buzz, I'm not saying I'm not a diehard fan, so I am. I still think Grey's Anatomy is one of the best shows on TV. I just would like to have more of what drew us in in the beginning you know even with well it's interesting because like we've been we've been since the beginning but what about the people that just tune in now they're missing like, yeah. it's like music these kids know nothing about great music all they know is no, just but what Bieber. if they're like really into it what if they're like this is the best show but on see, tv poor and, things and didn't uh, doesn't you they know don't they don't know, know about the past because then they need to go they need to netflix it but I'm just yeah. saying, we're, 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 they could have fresh eyes and we just don't, you know? But there maybe there is the magic that's there because our fans are still into it. So After you know what I mean? I mean, yeah. I, we're into it too, but you know what I right. mean. It's, After Brothers, you tell us. Yes, go I iTunes. Want, I want the lo the people that have been watching it from the first season and people that, you know, what what season did you jump in at? Let us know and let us know what you think about it. Yes. If you've had a chance to go backwards. I agree. Exactly. Please do. Let us know. Because I think for me, the breakout season for me would have to have been season three. Where we find out about where they really get deep with Ellis, and we find out so many things, oh, yeah, you know. Because yeah, yeah. the backstory of Grey's Anatomy, prior to everything that's happened now, and all the cast members that have come and gone, was a great story. There was a drama. It was, it was like, wow, this is deep, you know. And now mm -hmm. I feel like it's not so deep anymore. No, yeah. yeah. it's very happy. Everyone's married three or four times, or <laughs> like back to the patients. <laughs> Do we have anyone else? Mm. Oh, we have the tech and the shot guy. Okay, so he's yes. not into the big pharma corporations, he, which many I, people aren't. But which was good though, because we found out why. His dad died. His dad died, and he was on a diet of beer and corned beef and hash. And ever since then, his way of dealing with it was being good to his body. Which I I I can't I I agree with that. I mean, not not that his dad to deal with that, but you should watch what you put into your body. I mean, we mm -hmm. live in Los Angeles for God's sake. We should most definitely watch. What well, it's just body. a different time. Like right. we were definitely we were all raised on different morals in the kitchen, but now it's definitely about being organic and it's definitely about being like clean and healthy and not having all these extra products in your mm -hmm. body. Preservatives. So with that said, like you know, he he he. Sometimes a shot is just a shot, you know, like I get mean, the when, shot. when your body is oozing things and you're tightening up and you can't even speak and you're breaking your own bones, <sighs> something's got, you know, what I mean? something's got to give and you got to kind of let up a little bit. That kind of had been fun to like play out that character like, <laughs> hey, and they weren't even offering him a shot. They were giving him some. Now he can get pills for everything. Just pop a pill, you know. Yeah. They're like, take these pills and you're good to go. You're your GTG, but he, I mean. He broke his arm. The end. I mean, so but do we? But he had that big cut in the first place, which right. was all gross. 
Do, now, do we? How do we feel about Joe having all this extra strength when she gets so angry? <laughs> She's a street kid. She had to protect yeah, herself. Yeah, dumpster diving requires a lot of defense. I was just like, who cares? I know. <laughs> Break that Joe, bone and let's move on. Woo! She seriously. felt it. Woo! But I actually, I happened. kind of liked that that storyline because it, there's a potential of going into that service, which is something we haven't ever seen really. Well, it all happened so fast. I was like, did she break yeah. the arm? Did she not break the arm? You know, everybody goes to neuro. Everybody goes like to the mm -hmm. heart, you know, whatever. But seeing them go to ortho is something we really haven't seen, have we? In all these seasons? No, well, not, well, Callie was right. getting all like kind of like, girl crushy on it. Like, like, yeah, ooh. she has the talent and she's everything. The, and there's not many girls. And the, I was like, ooh. The shining star for me in this episode was seeing Turner Derek Lesbo. in a quarantine outfit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That was great. Because his, his hair was a hot mess. I okay, was like, let's talk about his hair this episode. Who loved that? very like mad scientist tonight. Mad like, scientist with the feel? gray streak over here looking straight up. Like, I it was mean, ridiculous. No pro that product must have been aged and expired because his hair was like, it was like something. <laughs> it wasn't flowing. It was like, like there's like something about the Mary where she puts the. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all over them. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't love it. But the suit was really cute. And, you know, mm -hmm. when you're sick, get out of the hospital, even if you're my doctor. Like, yeah. ugh. I don't know. This, I want to go home and take a shower now. This I know. I feel so dirty. I feel like the crying oh, no. game. Like I'm in the shower, just dirty. Just dirty. Dirty. What? Are, any other patients? No, that was it. Really? No. And then, like I said, or they they come to oh, the Avery. end. Oh, Avery. Avery goes home sick. Oh. What kind of a sick person are you? Are you the crawl away by yourself, or do you want to be babied? I, on quite honestly, and knock on wood, I rarely get sick. But I don't, okay. and, and when I and when okay, I am Derek. sick, when, yeah, <laughs> exactly. And when I am sick, I normally I'm not. I'm ne I, praise God that I have never been sick where I've been like in bed and couldn't move. The last time I had the flu was 1996. So. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. However, <laughs> I w that is not getting old. I, I, I don't want no, to. No, not at all. I don't, I don't like to be baby. I just leave me alone. Let me what? do my thing. Like, yeah. You're a Jackson kind of. Yeah. Thing. And okay. you. Oh, I'm a baby. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. I want somebody to, I want to lay on the couch. I want somebody to run their fingers through my hair, make me soup, and I don't want to have to get up and do anything. I want that, too, but the last time I was mm -hmm. sick, I had to go to the store to get the soup, and I was in the store, like, looking at people, like, I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick. And I was like, I was like, I like wanted everyone to know that I was sick. I was no. like ridiculous. You, hardcore. Off. Not to make it about us, audience. However, <laughs> I had a herniated disc, eight millimeters. Thanksgiving Day, I was picking up dinner, and it was like the most excruciating pain ever. I told people, listen, I'm in severe pain. I'm gonna move in front of all of you guys. No kind of courtesy. <laughs> Every time, <laughs> every time it goes off, I love it. It's the dumbest song ever. I love that song. I love it. And I sound good when I sing it in the shower. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure Nadell and Lazim were. Oh my gosh. Stop it. Anyway. It's so horrible. Don't ever so, do it. Don't See get when the you're flu. fired. So, yeah. but April was having to deal with her first marital issue oh. about not being able to help him. And she had to let it go. Yes, she did. <laughs> Literally. Yes, she did. Episode. Well, he was blowing up that bathroom. I was like, don't go in there, girl. Yeah, do was not that walk pooping in or throwing you up? Know, I'm going to go with pooping, matter. right? Yeah, I probably was, he was pooping. Like, Ugh. I know. He was, he was crapping at Ugh. Buick. <laughs> <laughs> he delivered a Chevrolet Tahoe. <laughs> I'm going to go with throwing up. <laughs> okay, well. Or both. Or, or both. At the same time, that's happened. <gasps> well, the, the, you know, this episode was very poop heavy too you know with the poop doctor <laughs> the pooping on doctor. tables i mean i think oh, shauna we had the the, the chief, chief at the end getting crazy the faux chief yeah, yeah. <laughs> like just walking around not doing anything the, the runaway looked like he had to go straight to that bathroom he had to do mm -hmm. small steps and hold those bo booty cheeks because <laughs> it was gophering <laughs> <laughs> it was prairie dogging. Ew. <laughs> okay, we we're very sorry. Maria Manu is gonna fire us. Um, <laughs> but yeah, there. All, but nothing really stuck stuck out about the episode until the end. The end show. The end um, scene. I'm sorry. Where they are doing their finances. Joe and, and yeah. And, and Karev okay. at the house, mm -hmm. the old house. Oh. oh. And mm -hmm. I think I, I think Karev had an aha moment. Mm -hmm. He was like, hmm. he even started to dance around like he was in that OR. I know he was like beatboxing or doing something. And the OR, they're playing um, what's uh, what's the name of the song? Snoop Dogg. Oh. No, but it wasn't the Doggy Dog. It wasn't that song. The it, Doggy Dog. Right. Yeah, and that. how come the nurses were clapping off beat? It was killing. It it's was the like, editing. It was the editing. I'm it sure. Like, it was like. <laughs> It was awesome. <laughs> All of you guys are fired. It was like, who allowed that? I, your Grey's Anatomy, you have millions of dollars. Hire a choreographer to get you on beat. It was like, bow wow wow, yippee yo, yippee yay, bow wow, yippee yo. 
You can't even clap. Yeah, no. It's hard. It's hard to clap off beat when you have now beat. Now when you're from rhythm. Seattle. <laughs> they do that. The white girl dance. One arm in the air. One arm in the air. One hand in the air. <laughs> That's how I work it. You don't want to be white for that one. Hand the hair. I don't like that one. I know. Like, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Ooh, wow. We're in rare for it tonight. After, but it's so sorry. It was just sorry. tonight's episode. I was just so disappointed because there was so many things I thought were gonna happen, and like all on Twitter all night because you know the East Coast sees it before we do. So from five o'clock our time, people are like, "Oh my gosh, it's the funniest episode ever." So well, I thought it. I I mean, come on. It was I mean, like it was a little funny. lighthearted, yeah. and it was a little fun. It wasn't all like just gross, 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 gross. It was like snap your arm and laugh at the end. You know, I I don't know. Well, I kind of like this it episode. It was lighthearted. But I what you guys they built you guys built it up so much I thought it was going to be like very common. Right. Well, some of our, some people are just like over this episode thinking it's another filler episode. Mm-hmm. I, I think this helped move the story along. No, I'm, I think so too. But I have to say too, since I missed last week, I didn't hate the last episode. The force. No, like I, I didn't, didn't hate it. it. It was just a lot going on, and it was just like in the end, she it was a filler episode because she cho- she chose. Yeah. To move on path, and it was just kind of like we went through all of that, but I guess it was her help her close. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know. Well, Yang closed her scene. Well, here's yeah. here's why here's why I feel about or what I have to say about the end for for Yang. This is a pillar in Grey's Anatomy. Mm. I mean, Yang is is you can't to me. There's no Grey's without Yang. You know how and when I'm, for season eleven or twelve, I'm gonna have to get used to that. But I will say that her departure, that episode has to be so well written and so on the money and has to be so perfect because if they screw that up. It's gonna be tragic, cause I know. you know what I mean. Like, it, I, I don't know. I don't want to read any stuff about it either. Like, I'm trying not to read any of. I've been any reading spoilers it all and stuff, but <laughs> I, I don't want to be disappointed yeah. already before I get to watch it. I mean, I'm a true fan, but I want to be prepared when I get up here. And they softened <laughs> her up. And did you? Did you? Um, after Buzzers, did you guys today. not see? How how just how soft and cooperative and how caring she is now and how you know how she's Who? so Yang how yeah. the way she talks now is very like like Star you need to be here ten years from now because you're gonna be an amazing doctor and that's what you're gonna do see three seasons ago she'd be like look shut up you're Wait, a horrible doctor you I'm probably the poo. won't be here ten you won't years be from here. now I'm the poo take a big whiff you know so it's just <laughs> that that departure better be epic yeah. You know, it better be like mythic and just everything because that's you, you were saying goodbye to, to the DNA of Grey's Anatomy. There's yeah. no, you know, and, and and also how will that, how will that affect Meredith? You know, because there's always been those two. They're each other's person. We we haven't seen the other without the other. You know, one mm-hmm. without the other. So I, oh, I don't yeah, know. I, from when it, it's fighting. very sad. It's very very sad. But I mean, all in all, tonight's episode on a scale of one to ten was about a six. Yeah, it was. Eight. And the music, that '80s project. You know, I would have, Keisha Cole could have sang that song Stop better it. than, <laughs> better than, or, you know, even I, hire me, I'll sing it, you know, but it's just, you you have, they're, they're doing this 80s project and they have this great music and these great, you know, iconic 80s songs. Well, go to bomb. iTunes and listen to it and then come back next week and let's see how you I really felt about it. I will definitely do that. And one of the songs last week I could not find, um, mm. that was, that, yeah, I was really upset. It wasn't, it wasn't released. It was just made particularly for the show. Rude. Yeah. Rude. <laughs> so hopefully I can find this one, but. You know, Grey's Anatomy, you be illin. That's brick right. It, brick it, brick it, brick it. <laughs> brick it. <laughs> Are we ready for predictions? Yes. No. After Buzz yeah. TV News. Thank News. you. Let it go, Star. So I just, first of all, thank asking. you, thank you, thank you to all of our Twitter followers and all of our After Buzzers that, that comment and talk to us all day. Yes. They sent us the best stuff. Um, Tala Bahar, Pitar just sent us this, sent us this new um, link from Examiner saying that on April 1st, TV Guide shared a new spoiler for the series, and one of the doctors currently on staff might consider life away from the hospital. Who is this doctor? Alef Kareb. Is he going to be my Addison Montgomery 2.0 with his own show? Ooh, Ooh. I predicted it. Shonda Rhimes managed to score a season six spinoff from it. Like, uh, I, pr- I just predicted that. So. Right? Yeah. Can and yes, hello, yes, yes. star. Yes. I know. No well, one lets me shine here. No one lets me shine. Well, can I quote no, Justin no, Chambers no, real quick? No, no. Justin Chambers, who plays like, Alex Kareb, as we all know, okay. maybe I need to possibly think about joining a private practice. He's starting to see that he could profit a little more than what he has currently. So who knows? He might. But the thing is, he cannot do. Okay, Shauna, you cannot do another private practice spinoff. Those don't work. I'm sorry, but Patrick Fabian is kind of awesome, so it might. It's just like you know, you know. What, this is what happens when you do a spinoff. The show gets canceled, and we see you on Scandal. No. You know what I'm saying? We, we still not a bad 
that gig for them. I know. It's like, weren't you on season three? <laughs> but it might be interesting, though, if it's all guys and we just see, you know, kind of that and their journey versus following a girl. Yeah, especially if they're going to have some money had... and it's going to yeah. be, like, rich. And, and like... there hasn't been word on Justin shining, um, signing a new contract right. either. Because, so. you know, with Grays, we have Meredith. And with, the, you know, private practice, it was Addison. So this could be kind of cool to see, the, you know, guys' perspective. Yeah, yeah, especially when they have money and they're, like, playing golf. And, yeah. like, maybe the ladies will get we a little bit more. Golf. We golf. We golf. No, they, they're gonna hit. They're gonna hit the green. It's gonna be like entourage. Well, it was yeah, definitely. It was right? definitely nice totally seeing see Karev. Mm -hmm. You saw the the wheels turning. He was like, wait a minute. It, they took him out of that hospital set and put him into. He was like, this different. place is gross. Yeah, he's like. <laughs> when he got yeah. back, I was like, yes. And he's like, that's how much do you make? Tell me. That's the Karev I love. Like <laughs> at, that right there. I'm like, love you. So, do you think after buzzers, you guys, do you think that Grays needs yet another spinoff? Um, I think that oh, it personally just needs a boost. I don't know what it is. Well, we do see that um, Derek's sister Amelia is coming back on the show. Yeah, that'll be fun. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Katarina Scorsoni. Ooh, I think Scorsoni. Scorsoni. I like that. <laughs> so yeah, that's all the news and gossip for you today, ladies and gentlemen. Your After Buzz Ooh. TV Ooh. predictions. I, I predict. Hold on, Stephen, that you never play that Dizzy song <laughs> ever again. And I, that and, doesn't sound like a prediction. It sounds like a threat. <laughs> you know, take it as you will. <laughs> Star predictions. Um, predictions. Little boy is gonna die next week. Uh -huh. That'll be the end of I mean, his character. Totes. No. Right. All that hair gone. Um, I hope. Hopefully, we find out a little bit more about that uh, family who everyone's sick. Um, and that's all they really. They only really gave us about the little boy. So I'm sure there's gonna be a ton more things happening next week. So we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah. I don't really Kel? have any crazy predictions. I hope the little boy doesn't die just because I hate to, I hate it when kids die. It just bothers me. I don't like those kind of storylines. Yeah. But um, I also want to see what happens with uh, Meredith's speech and if she sealed the deal for sure for Derek and kind of how he feels about that. Because what if she starts to take away some of his shine? I know. And then that starts to throw a little shine wrench in blocker. their little happy day, happy oh, times. Well, yeah, wrench. I, that, that's a good one, Kel. That's a good one. I, I predict, as far as the show, I like to predict the show writing, where it's going to go. I do think that we're going to start to move into the finale season because it is April. Mm -hmm. So the finale is always, you know, middle of May. Now we really have to get to the thick of it. Like some, they need, there needs to be some kind of turmoil, some kind of, there's only been one Grey's Anatomy season that actually ended, not with anyone dying, but with Meredith alone with the baby. Right. That was the only season. And Shonda wrote that because she thought that was the organic and, you know, the progression of the, se the of the, that season. And she writes, the finale backwards. Mm -hmm. So we need something to start happening because I'm a little bored. I'm, I hate to say it, I'm a little yeah. bored. And I need, I want to be- Some of our fans are too. I want to be enthralled and I want to feel something. I'm not feeling anything right now. So I predict that the writing- need more drama. Yeah, not so much drama, but compelling television. I don't care what, it could be happy compelling television, just something compelling about it. There's nothing compelling going on right now. Okay. Very, very filler. So I'm, I'm predicting that we start to move into a more dynamic um, writing of the show and hopefully the finale will not disappoint. Yeah. All right. And we still have Burke that's coming up, so we are looking Burke. forward to that. And is it in real talk, he's been getting a lot of publicity. Mind you, his mess up was seven years ago, mm -hmm. but he was on I think he's redeemed himself. He was on he's Access back. Hollywood mm -hmm. today, live mm -hmm. with, he was on and so people are checking for Isaiah Washington again. Yeah. Let's hope he got some hair plugs for men. But you know, uh, <laughs> I I I hope that his return to Grays is mm -hmm. worth the hype because they're bringing worth back it. another Iconic character. Yeah. Regardless, and then they also. Do you think they're bringing him back in real time? Um, like for. Or a flashback. Yeah. I think it's. I, I don't. I'm not reading any spoilers. I'm hoping mm -hmm. it's real time that that him and Christina make out in the on call room. Yeah. You know, and I would love to see. Well, George died, so he's not coming back. But I would love to see maybe in Teddy come back. Or I'm sorry, Izzy. Where Where you at, Izzy? That ain't happening. Yeah. Catherine Heigl, poor thing, queers over. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Grey's Anatomy after show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my Oh wow. <laughs> then, did you see that uh, they were singing the musical? Oh, he's gone. <laughs> On the airplane. Big news. Oh, yes, I heard about that. It looks so cool. Yeah. Wait, there's a musical episode? <laughs> That's what happens when you walk, uh, you walk away. Well, I, this Disney music is doing my head in. But, you know. I I know, I, oh, no. um, but Grey's is on a Disney channel, so. Yeah, there you have it. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to our giggly Grey's Anatomy after show this week. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, tweet us all the time. You can tweet me at JDC Forever. See you guys next Thursday. And I'm your girl, Star Session. And you can follow me on every social place you can find. Stalker. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways.
Kelly. <laughs> You can find me at Kelly with an IE 079 on Twitter and Instagram. Woo. Until next time, you guys, be safe, tweet us, and we'll, we'll see you soon. We'll see you then. Bye. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Bye, see you Bye. later. See you later. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here, and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.